Hi friends, today I'm gonna be making rice bread from rice. Yes, you heard me right. I turn rice into fluffy bread. I have done the rice flour bread before, but uh, I was using a rice flour that is made in Japan and it's not easy to find anywhere in the world. So I just turned the rice into fluffy bread. And I watched the videos of Amy Made and Chef Steps and they're using a high-speed blender, which I don't have. So I try making it with my regular standard blender and it turns out great. After several trials, I found a crucial point to make a fluffy bread. I cannot wait to share these tips and tricks with you. Let's get started. I use Japanese short grain rice, but long grain rice can be used as you could see in other videos. Wash rice and soak in water for 2 hours to overnight. Overnight for the best result. Rice should turn white after absorbing water. This is a very easy and simple recipe, but this is the crucial part. Soak overnight so the rice can be pulverized even using a standard blender. Drain and transfer to the blender along with salt, sugar, and oil. Pour lukewarm water about 36 degrees Celsius, 97 degrees Fahrenheit. Because we are using a blender, the butter gets a chance to warm up so the temperature should not be too high. Add yeast and start blending. It's quite a lot of yeast, but the rice is a heavy particle, so we need more than the wheat bread. Blend for one minute and take a look at the butter. It's still grainy somehow, so we need to blend more. Scrape down the sides and turn on the blender and keep blending for another one minute. Let's check the butter one more time. When you touch it and you feel still grainy and the butter is not sticky, you should go another one minute. And here we go. And here is the butter after blending for 3 minutes in total. As you see, the butter is sticky and the rice grains are broken. This is the butter you are aiming at. Pour the butter into a parchment lined loaf pan. The butter should be filled one third of the height. It's easy to dry out, so spray the water to add extra moisture. Cover with a plastic and let it rise in a warm place. Meanwhile, start preheating the oven to 100 degrees Celsius, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's been 20 minutes and has risen about double in volume. And it looks good. And you feel the yeasty smell, but very comfortable. Now we can bake it. Before bake it, place parchment paper on top and cover the lid. If you don't have a lid, you can use baking tray instead. Carefully put it in the oven, because the butter is almost like a liquid, and reset the oven to 190 degrees Celsius. Then bake for 30 minutes. This is called cold start. Start with a lower temperature to cook through inside. When you start cooking with a lower heat, it's gonna cook slowly and fully. After 30 minutes, take off the lid and cook another 10 minutes, or until the surface is golden brown. It looks so gorgeous. Gently take it out onto the wire rack to release the steam. I love the bread baking smells in the air and it feels so good and relaxing. Let it cool to room temperature for an hour to two hours before slicing. It's no good to slice still hot because the crumb still needs to be set and you cannot get the clean cut. And the moment of truth. Look at this beautiful crumb. It's so soft on the inside and crispy on the outside. It is gorgeous and amazing. You can bake it without the lid, but if that's the case, the top will become like a rice cracker and really crispy. But it's okay, it'll still be a great bread. 
It's so moist compared to the wheat bread, fluffy but dense in a way, but has a melt in your mouth texture. I love to have it toasted. It's so good. It's a great gluten free bread ever. I hope you will give this recipe a try. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And tap the bell icon not to miss any of my new videos. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go to my website for more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Thanks again and I will see you soon. Bye!